We've got eye test on the stream now. Eye test. Uh, what do you want to say? What do you want to talk about, bro? Fat boy, Frank. You no, know, I was I was gonna talk about the Daniel James move because I believe that this if this transfer happens, I think it's gonna open a lot of people's eyes to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because I believe when if, when Daniel James goes to Leeds, I think he's gonna kill it because he's going to a team that has a fully functional system and he can easily slot in because he so, look, looking at him oh. and the profile that he fit, he he looks like he's gonna fit. The system, the, the Bielsa system. So, so, like so, what is, is, so what you're saying is, is so what you're saying is, is Dan James is actually a very good player. We've just got a bad manager that's making him look bad. I, I don't think he's a bad player. I, I just don't think he. I think he's an okay player, and I think he will look better La in a fully functional. Ladies system. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what you are seeing here is the first seeds being planted. For the further Oli agenda, if a player leaves and becomes good, it's oh my, all the same, all the people you can see. And by the way, that might be eye test. Every single fan, and you know who they are on YouTube, Twitter, that cases into Dan James, watch as this exit near comes nearer. They'll start to soften their emotions towards him. They'll start to talk positive about him. And then when he leaves, that's all in the hope that he kills it at the next club so they can see. Told you while he was bad. Those are the same people saying the player's dead. If the player's dead, the player's dead. Why wouldn't they just admit they were wrong? I love it. I love I this game. I don't think he's dead. I think he's an okay player, but oh. the system will make him look better. Let oh. me use Liverpool as an example. Mm. Yeah. Look, look, look how Klopp's built this team. He he never built this team by buying superstars. He just built this team by buying players that suits the system. Yeah. Yes. Look at how he transformed. Look how Wait, Gini hold on, Bernal hold on, yes. how hold on. Hey, name, name land, bro. Name land. Two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. Look how good Robertson looks. Look how Vinaldum looks. Henderson. These weren't superstars before um Klopp got them into the club, but he made them look okay. better than they actually are. He's making them play levels above what they actually are. You mentioned about like players not fitting in systems and cut using players that fit into the system. Well, if we're getting rid of players that don't fit our system, surely that's a good thing and can no longer be held against our manager who's realised that, yo, they don't fit our system, let me move them out and get someone who does. It's irrelevant or not, it's relevant or not if they do well at another club because they fit their system well. It's about our system. Do they fit our system? And if they don't, same with Lukaku, same with all these players that we've left, same with Sanchez, Listen. They got, they, they've got to go. Oli, Oli has a system, but, but he's not good at it. He's not good at coaching it. I, I could tell he's trying to pass from the back. I, I could clearly say, I could clearly see that we're trying to pass from the back. Yeah. We're not good at it. We're he's not good at it. Do you know, Oli, do, 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 do you know what I'd say, back, boys, boys, boys? What I'll say before we end this stream is this. What I would say is this. See, I, I don't think James is a great player. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying, I think he's an okay player, yeah? And he will look better because the pro. He, his profile suits a Bielsa system. Yes, and that's good. And, and, and that's good. That's good. Yeah. And that's good I, for I James. Is, yeah. but, no, 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 wait, 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 and if the answer is no, and you think it's rubbish for that, then he's got what it to... Is. This conversation before, and I respect everybody's opinions on it, no one's going to change. This isn't... The point is, you know, are we right for getting rid of these two players? Y yes or no, I test. Are we right? Yeah, yes or no? Yeah. Probably, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing that two of the most maligned, attacked and abused football players are looking like they're leaving, and someone like I test saying, yeah, probably all right to leave. That that doesn't that's weird. I reckon if if Rashford was leaving, you'd be happier. He's a better player than them. Huh? I think if Rashford was leaving, you'd be happier. If Rashford was leaving, I think you'd be happier. I think we should upgrade on Rashford hundred percent. But see, you're not sure whether Dan James should leave, but you're a hundred percent sure we should upgrade on Rashford. Can anyone not notice the agenda there? If Man United keep all this squad, Oli's gone tomorrow. I can give you Bielsa, Poch, uh, Nangelsmann, Klopp, any of them. Anyone you want. If you bring in the best manager possible, is this squad good enough to get the performance levels out to meet your expectations as a Man United fan? Is, I, th I think we'd play much better. No, that this. is not my question. I'm not letting you speak unless you answer my question. I'm really sorry to play my, it's my ball. But I'm just saying here, answer the question. Is the squad good enough? 
Is Dan James and Lingard good enough, even with a better manager? Yes or no? To, to what? To what? Be specific. What, what's your... Okay, let me, let's go back, backtrack a second. What's your expectations for Man United as a Man United fan? What do you want us achieving? Obviously, Champions League, Premier League. Cool. That's what you I don't need to elaborate. That's fine. With this current squad, including players like Dan James and Jesse Lingard, even with Klopp as manager, with Pep as his assistant, and Fergie as the boot boy, right? Are the, is this squad good enough to achieve your expectations with this manager? Yes or no? Yes. So, yes. yes. Let me explain that's, first. That's Let's fine. I don't need you to explain. You don't need to explain you saying yes. Then. Okay, like I said, if I, I used the Klopp example earlier. Vijnaldum wasn't a superstar. Um, Robertson wasn't a superstar. Henderson wasn't a superstar. But because they were in a system that works properly, yeah, they were able to achieve. Whoever fought by now, <laughs> Henderson. Saeed, 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 Saeed guys, one second, one, one second, one second. We'll come back to you. Saeed, just, I tweeted out asking everybody for what they think their ceilings are for the players. Saeed is even watching or someone's told him because he said 10 out of 10s for both. <laughs> 10 out of 10 on ability, <laughs> outputs and ceilings. I know what you're doing there, Saeed. Whoever thought Henderson was good enough to win a Champions League, Robertson, by now, all these players. Right, right, right. Then, so, 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 stop, stop a second, stop a second, stop a second, stop a second, stop a second. Klopp did because he bought them, most of them. I, I have to, sorry to slow, uh, mute your microphone, but barring two of these players, Klopp bought them in and kept the others for three or four years while he built them. So Jurgen Klopp, the man you're lauding, thought they were good enough. Everybody else that he inherited, he moved on. So I don't understand what you're saying. For me, I, I, I don't disagree. I think Jurgen Klopp would get more out of these players than, than Oli is. Why? Because Oli's a, he's not proven at the same level as being a coach. That's obvious. But that doesn't mean Dan James, Pereira, Lingard, uh, Phil Jones, Smalling, Lindergaard. Doesn't doesn't make these players good enough. But what you're... What you're doing, I test, is very obvious to anybody with half a brain cell. You're now bigging up these fringe players that might move on in a hope they do well where they go so you can use them as another tool to beat Ollie with. It is pathetic because you have been on here, you, ripping into these players about how bad they are, how crap they are, why they're still at the club. The manager you hate goes to sell them, which is what you want, and you go, how could I now spin this into another negative towards Ollie, even though he's doing what I want you, pathetic little boy. Pathetic, pathetic. He just bought players to suit the system. He like how many of these players were over fifty million? It was was well, Salah? Well, was I just, you're, you're saying you're saying that he bought players to fit the system, and he sold the players that didn't fit the system. But that's exactly what we're doing, and you're upset. <laughs> 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 Uh, you are lost. You, you are very lost, bro. You are lost. Listen, someone get on the phone to the police. We've got to get find uh, ITS mum. You, you lost your kid in the supermarket. He's wandering around chatting to grown men here. I don't even know what he's trying to say. ITS, we love you, bro. We love you. Honestly, bro, you are box office, bro. You are box office. <laughs>